Hello everyone, welcome back and myself Dr. Mahindra Guleria and you are watching DMG Chemistry Classes. And today I am going to discuss types of spectroscopies. And in my previous video, I told you that spectroscopy involves the interaction of electromagnetic radiations with matter. And energy is evolved or emitted or absorbed according to this relation that is delta E is equal to H nu where delta E is the energy difference between the two energy levels H is the Planck's constant and nu is the frequency and I will explain it okay so now we will discuss the types of spectroscopies but before that if you have not subscribed my channel then please do subscribe and also like and share my videos so friends the spectroscopy is broadly classified into two categories the first one is emission spectroscopy and the second one is absorption spectroscopy so let us start with emission spectroscopy so when atoms or molecules of a compound are subjected to intense heat or electric discharge then the atoms are excited and during that uh, this excitation the electrons inside the atoms are also excited from the lower energy levels to the higher energy level or we can say from the ground state to the excited state so let us explain it here uh, with this diagram so here we have uh, we have an atom and this atom is subjected to intense heat or electric discharge okay and then this electron will be excited from the ground state to the excited state and these excited states are high energy states and these are unstable okay then this electron will come back to its ground state and during its back journey when it will return to the ground state it has to emit the energy it has gained in the first step so when it will come back to the ground state okay it will emit uh, the energy gained uh, in the form of light or the radiations okay and then this light will be passed through the prism and we know that the prism disperses the radiations into different wavelengths or we can say that prism separates different wavelengths then the light coming out of the prism will be allowed to fall on a photographic plate okay then what do we uh, observe then we observe some bright lines on this photographic plate or we can say that bright lines are observed on a dark background and these uh, bright lines are called as the emission spectrum of the substance understood let us explain it here with another example so i have a discharge tube and inside this discharge tube i have sodium vapors okay that is sodium atoms and we can also have sodium flame in, instead of this discharge tube so when these sodium atoms are subjected to electric discharge that is high voltage then as i explained here the electrons inside the sodium atom will be excited from lower energy level to higher energy levels and when they will come back to their ground state uh, they will emit light and that light is passed uh, through this prism and the light coming out of the prism will be allowed to fall on the photographic plate and here on this photographic film uh, we obtain two lines one line corresponds to the radiation having a wavelength equal to 5890 uh, angstroms and the second line corresponds to the radiation having wavelength 5896 angstroms and these yellow lines are also called as uh, d1 and d2 lines okay so this is the emission spectrum of sodium understood so now let us discuss absorption spectroscopy so in uh, uh, absorption spectroscopy the electromagnetic radiations from any source is allowed to pass through the solution of an absorbing substance absorbing substance mean to say a substance which absorbs electromagnetic radiations so electromagnetic radiations are allowed to pass through the solution of an absorbing substance then the some part of the light will be reflected some part of light will be 
transmitted and some radiations will be absorbed understood so here we analyze the transmitted radiations so let us explain it uh, with the diagram so here we have a source of electromagnetic radiations okay and these electromagnetic radiations will be passed through the solution of absorbing substance whose absor absorption spectrum we want to study so this is a solution of absorbing substance then as i said that uh, some part of the radiations will be reflected back and some radiations will be transmitted and some radiations will be absorbed by the substance so this is this is the transmitted light okay and then this transmitted light is allowed to pass through a prism or a grating so here we have a prism and as i said that prism will separate uh, disperses the different wavelength then the radiations coming out of the prism again will be recorded on a photographic plate we have a photographic plate okay so in this case we obtain some dark lines on the photographic plates not bright lines and these dark lines uh, corresponds to the radiations absorbed by the substance because those radiations which are absorbed by the substance will be missing here so these uh, dark lines corresponds to the wavelengths or the radiations absorbed by the substance and this uh, this is called as the absorption spectrum of the substance understood let us explain it here suppose uh, this is incident radiations that is radiation coming from the source of electromagnetic radiations these are incident radiations okay and when these radiations and when these radiation passes through this solution what happens then the uh, these radiations are absorbed by the atoms of the substance okay and the electrons are also excited here from the uh, ground state to the excited state so what happens that is the uh, incident radiations are absorbed by the atoms of the substance and the electrons of the atoms are excited from the lower energy level to the higher energy level okay what here only those radiations will be absorbed whose energy corresponds to this energy gap suppose here the energy of this energy level is e1 the second e2 and this energy level is having energy e3 then the what is the energy difference between these two energy level that is delta e so here this delta e will be equal to what e3 minus e1 so only those radiations uh, will be absorbed whose energies corresponds to this energy gap okay and i have told uh, i have told you that uh, the energy of the radiation can also be expressed in terms of frequency and wavelength because this delta e will be equal to h nu and which is further equal to h c upon lambda so i can say that only those wavelengths will be absorbed whose energy corresponds to this energy difference understood so in this way the light will be absorbed by the atoms of the substance and then the transmitted light then the transmitted light 
is allowed to pass through the prism okay and the spectrum is obtained on the photography plate as i explained earlier and in the spectrum we have dark lines so these dark lines corresponds to the wavelengths absorbed by the atoms of the substance okay and these radiations or these wavelengths will be missing out of the transmitted light so this type of spectrum is called as absorption spectrum and the spectroscopy is called as absorption spectroscopy understood so this emission spectroscopy is very useful for the study of atoms okay what if we want to uh, study the structure of the organic compounds then we prefer absorption spectroscopy the reason being most of the organic compounds are unstable under these uh, drastic conditions of intense heat and electric discharge and this these conditions are very much required for the emission spectroscopy understood so which spectroscopy absorption spectroscopy will be used to determine the structure of the organic compound understood and further this absorption spectroscopy has been classified into different categories depending upon the type of electromagnetic radiations absorbed by the substance okay and if the ultraviolet or the visible radiations are absorbed by the substance for the excitation then the spectroscopy will be called as ultraviolet or the visible spectroscopy so let us uh, explain it here that what are the different types of absorption spectroscopies as i said the first one is types of absorption spectroscopy so the first one is ultraviolet and visible spectroscopy ultraviolet and visible spectroscopy second one is infrared spectroscopy or ir spectroscopy third is microwave spectroscopy fourth one is nuclear magnetic resonance or nmr spectroscopy and last is electronic spin resonance or esr spectroscopy okay so this is the classification of your absorption spectroscopy uh, depending upon the type of electromagnetic radiation absorbed understood so in my upcoming video i am going to uh, i am continue uh, continuing my discussion on this ultraviolet and visible spectroscopy okay so keep watching my videos and also like and share my videos and uh, subscribe my channel thank you very much